I'm sorry, Dave. You rolling? <laughs> yes. Seeing background remains a, I suppose, a somewhat unheralded position. You know. There's a power to these women that stand on stage with these guys. 20 Feet from Stardom is her film. Let's talk a little bit about what this has meant to you in the last few months, being part of this magical, magical film. I was brought into this film by Gil Friesen, but really via Lou Adler, who has been um, a driving force in my life since 1969. Mm. I met Gil Friesen in 1969 when I joined A&M Records. Shh, shh, you can't talk when I'm talking, baby. How could you logically not have a diva have her music on? I don't get that. Lou calls and says, you know, Gil is going to call you. I said, well, Uncle Gil, what does he want? He said, well, he's going to call you about a film he's doing. I said, about what? I'm always very inquisitive about what's going on. So Lou says, about singers. He said, just talk to him and have fun. I felt like if I just gave my heart to what I was doing, I would automatically be a star. I drive on the lot, and they're filming me as I'm coming on the lot. And he says, well, what did you do over here? I said, well, we rehearsed over there. And he's asking me all these questions. I'm not knowing what's really going on. I mean, I know that it's something about singers, you know, but I don't know what, what, what the real, as I say, I don't know what the T is. That's the real truth. I don't know what the T is at all. There's a whole world out there who wants to hear you sing. We start walking through the halls of this recording studio at A&M. Such a magical place, as you would say. And I'm walking through and I get the studio A. He said, what did you do here? I said, well, we did the Mary Clayton album there. He said, what did you do over here? I said, we did the Carol King's Tapestry over here. So I'm walking down telling him all this stuff, you know. And when you worked with James Taylor there and we worked at He says, oh my God. So we get around to the Studio D, the back studio, and they sit me down and interview me. And I walk in that studio and something just hits my spirit. And I'm just overwhelmed with all the wonderful music and the joy that I had working there at a and for such a long time. You may walk out of the studio and there's James Taylor, or you may walk out of the studio and there's um, Carol said, come, I want you to sing on this. There may be Ray Rita Coolidge sitting out, cooling out from her session or something. And you're saying, okay, what, you want me to do what? <laughs> what do you want me to sing? You'll come around. She's representational of what's happening with background singers at this point. I know that she aspires to be a solo artist, though. But so many of you seemed unhappy being the backup singer, not, not you in particular, but mm. maybe Judith Hill or some of the other people. Why, why is that not just good enough? Why is that not good enough? I'm just curious. Well, you know, that's one thing I've never understood, because to me, when you're working, singing background, front ground, side ground, or behind the ground, if you're doing any of that type of singing at all, and you are what they call working, right. it's called a pay what check. <laughs> so now you get your money and you keep stepping and you go to the next thing. There's a lot of young artists that want to sing background and they get so enthralled about what's going on, they want to just jump to the front right away. Well, to me, just like my friend Julia Water said, you have to pay your dues. Yeah. You have to do what they, what they call the wood shedding. You have to pay your dues. You just can't up and, well, I don't want to sing background anymore because um, um, I just want to do my own thing. Well, see, the thing is what they don't understand is when you sing background, you're in rehearsal to be front ground. That's right. I loved singing background. I loved every session that I ever did with anybody. I loved it because it, it basically featured me as an artist. Because Absolutely. everybody want to know, well, who was that singing background? Working with Michael really did inspire me. And, and saying like, wow, it's okay to dream this big. It's okay to, to realize your dreams. Ah. I know it's probably hard to just narrow it down, So, I, but do your best. The greatest backup song. Well, I would go back and say what I say with Ray Charles. But that was my beginning. Ray Charles taught me everything. He taught me how to be a background singer. Darlene Love took me under her wing when I was 14 years old. And before I knew it, I had a record deal with Capitol Records, right, at 14. Yeah. So, um, and then I worked, I, I was on the lot of A&M, and I saw this guy walking on the lot. He looked kind of straggly and hip, you know, back there, that was called hip. And 
he pointed to me, up, uh, and I was coming down the stairs from Lou's office. He says, oh, there she is, Sister Mary. I'm looking, I said, who the heck is that? It was Joe Cocker. Oh, wow. And if I tell you I heard came through the bathroom window 100 <laughs> times, Denny Cordell was the producer. And you know how they play it over and over and over again. And then the next song was, feeling all right. Oh, oh uh, uh, I'm not feeling a goo myself. Uh, oh, oh. You're fine to do it. I got to save my voice. I ain't going nowhere. Cause I, I learned that we are all people that love what we do. We're the best. I can say that. We're the best at what we do. No doubt. And um, we can only be the best at what we do under the auspices of God, because he has made all of this possible, all of it possible. Without him, there's nothing. Without him, I'm nothing. So that's, you know, we're all preacher's kids, honey. So that's, <laughs> it, that's, that's where that comes from. And so here you go again. Here I go again. Here you go again. Here I go again. I love it. Thank you for talking with My us. My pleasure, this baby. This has been an absolute joy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mary. Thank you. All the best of luck Thank with this Thank you. Film. Love you. Love you right back.